So good morning, Monday, August 27th. I'm here to do the path and totem for today. Um, excuse me, I have tissue. Sad, sad news this morning. I've done my spread already, so I decided I'd be doing this after my spread. We're in my little office here. Oh, excuse me. Uh, pretty sad. Uh, my big brother <sighs> took his life on Thursday, and my other big brother found him and just phoned me yesterday. He texted me last night, and I just phoned him and talked to him this morning. So, um, my adopted big brothers, they lived across the street from me, and uh, I'd actually had a crush on my big brother, Richard. Um, and then when he had a crush on me, I didn't like him like that anymore. But we've been brothers and sister. Known each other since I was like nine. Yeah. So, it's a long time. On well, my path and personal path and told him I thought I'd share with you because I thought this was very interesting. Because I told Richard I'd do some drumming for him today. And send some prayers out with my drum. Right. Also the rhythm and the interminable timing. Uh, Ray was a generous protector. My path and told him to walk in with me. Um, he treated me like a little sister, looked to me like a little sister. You know, he was part of the militia. He's in the Canadian military, the militia. He'd been overseas a couple of times, right? Been on tour of duties. I've only seen a lot. Battled with drugs. And what I'm feeling is this was the way he found his inner bees. It's a... It's a bittersweet. That's what I'm feeling. It's bittersweet. Now that's hard too. So anybody that's had a loss or anything, either recently or in the past, that maybe they're still hung up on, I want a path and totem. That's what I'm thinking. Let's have a path and totem to help us to find that center when those moments come up, because they do, no matter how long it's been. We'll still have moments when we'll get caught up in those emotions. Maybe... You know, if we find what's what's spirit in this, where's spirit in this, what where it's what's the lesson in this? Um so that can help us come back to center on our path, realize we're still on our sacred path. And when we cry, tears and crying, I do not believe is a negative emotion in any way. Uh, that's purifying and it's beautiful although it doesn't always feel like that I think it gets negative if we push it on too long right we can have headaches because we don't let the cry just cry naturally so let's um, do a cut in honor of the four directions the medicine wheel the east path of illumination and the south the innocence and the child the west is the deep reflection and the north is our inner wisdom and we travel this earth walk is the red the red path right and that goes from childhood to adulthood and into our wisdom from south to north and as our spirits cross over as the day goes spirit the spirit walk the blue road goes from east to west so ray has made that cross from north to south and he is going to walk he's on that transition into the east whether he'll be reborn or just keep going around and being a guide from east to west and we honor above below and within there we have seven directions in total so these ones i'm going to lay it out since you can actually kind of see this on the table now lay it out and a path and totem for today, if we get caught up in our losses, whether it's of people or things or times in our lives, wherever we're feeling any kind of loss or lonely, there's the path to walk, the totem walk, walking with us. If we remember this throughout the day, it helps to bring us back to that center. This is where we belong, right in here. Okay, True home, truth truth yesterday remember so the path and the totem
purification, right? It's cleansing. When we cry and release tears, that's okay. Let them flow because they will stop. They're not going to go on forever, even when they feel like it. So it's always best to just let those tears flow. Best or, what, you know, excuse the words, but um, it is much more helpful to let them flow. When we try and block them or push them, right? If we just let them go naturally, that naturally purifies. Our tears are a natural purification. They're very good and very positive. <sighs> there we go. And spirit is with us. Okay. Eagle flies closest to the spirit. Eagle sees with that higher vision and that higher perspective. Right? To see and honor those people in our lives, those times in our lives, those past one, two. Right? One, two. Spirit helps us cleanse and purify. He's with us. Isn't that beautiful? So remember, as we're crying, the tears are purification and needed and very positive. Okay, joins back with the waters of the earth, right? That we have tears to cry means we felt something deeply. It meant something to us. If it didn't mean anything to us, there'd be no tears. Think of all the tears we have, tears of joy. These are a gift. These are our own personal rains. And it always needs to rain. Wow. So let's read from the book. I'm at six, but we'll see. Uh, where did I put my books? Ow. Ow. Well, I guess that's a sign that maybe we just leave it at that this time. Ow. Yeah. I guess I left them out in the sunroom. I guess that's enough then. We know it. I think that's plain and simple. Why would we need to read from the book? I'm thinking maybe I'll do videos of each of these just to have their little stories. But Spirit is with us today. Spirit is with us anytime we're feeling any kind of a loss or sadness or lonely. Always there. Tears are good. All tears are good. Maybe not those crocodile ones. If you're using them to manipulate, well, hey, there's a lesson in that too, right? There's always lessons. And we are to learn them, get that higher perspective, cleanse and purify. Sometimes we need those tears to help clear out all those feeling like I could have done something differently. I wish I could have been there. <sighs> Why didn't I answer the call or anything that might be going on and how we could have made things different for ourselves or for somebody else. So those tears carry out those thoughts and release those, you know, take them back to earth. It knows it's not our fault. It's forgiving and we can feel that forgiveness for ourselves and forgiving the other. Forgiving the other because he didn't do anything to hurt anybody else. Those that are suffering and take their lives in their own hands. Oh, it's a free will. That's a tough one for us here. But that's their way to find their inner peace. Sometimes they can't find it. And hopefully they find it on the other side because sometimes they get so caught up in that turmoil that even in that transition phase, they may still stay stuck for a little while. <laughs> So we can drum and release them and be those generous protectors here and appreciate what they gave us in our lives. And, you know, divine timing, not our timing. Make which, remember, the Spirit is with you, purifying as you purify. Make which, have a beautiful day.